What's going on? Let me say something real quick. Um, I always say I'm going to say something real quick and I end up being longer than what I am. Um, it's a lot of false narratives going on out here. I'm, I might be mistaken. But I heard somebody say um, something about my um, me purchasing a car for five thousand dollars and all this and all that. And what does what does that have to do with Keith? I do, I just don't understand it. What does that have to do with Keith? What's going on, y'all? What does that have to do with Keith? We provided documentation over here at Save Key 419. We showed we showed that we was a legitimate um what you could say charity or whatever. Um we showed that because we actually showed what we did. Um so it, my credibility if not in nine months, I haven't established my credibility. I don't know what to say to nobody. Um, but don't think I don't know this. Not a lot of these people where it's not for Bigo. And so they spin narratives and make it sound like it, it could be legit. But let me let me say this. When we talking about kids and stuff, my brother's kids. I've been with my, my, my wife for going on four years. My wife has never had any suspicion, and she had an older daughter. Any suspicion of me ever trying to do anything with her daughters or anything like that. That's crazy for somebody to come out here and say that, um, insinuate anything with pedophilia of any, to any degree. Um, I've never been accused of anything of the likes so let me clear that up before tomorrow i'm just gonna clear all this stuff up because i think it's important for us to clear this up you know um i just think that it's just an attempt to try to paint me as this, this i i don't know i don't even understand it I have no clue why people is coming out here and saying some of the shit that they said. And it really made my 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 wife upset. Um, nobody has ever accused. They talked to my ex-wife. My ex-wife has never said anything like that. Nothing. I haven't talked to her in five years. She's never said anything. She they said I drink, I drink excessively. Uh, uh, none of the likes. <laughs> this is totally just slander is total slander and i want you to understand this these people are lying to you guys um and then another thing is that they don't know me they don't know anything about me so let's just clear that up they don't know anything about me and Go and pick somebody out on the streets. This is what you do. Go pick somebody out on the streets and let them assess you from 
what someone else said to you when they was mad at you. And let's see what kind of positive thing. It takes a real exceptional person to go and investigate things for themselves. They're making up stories. That, exactly. That's all they're doing. They making up stuff. They made up stuff on massacre. You know, they made up stuff on on me. They, they I mean, they just spending this th- stuff to make it a a sequel, a episodes. You know, a story, like you said, a storyline. And all of this is a disservice. Look, this person that we talking about, we don't even have no knowledge of. Anything with a brother, a sister, a mother, Tommy K, we don't know anything from the standpoint of any family member of hers, but she's inviting herself into family matters, into a man that she got cool with a month before, a month before his accident. She don't know anything about this man, and yet she's taking the position as if she's in a position higher than me. That's crazy. That's crazy, and this is why I'm upset. I'm upset solely because of that somebody from basically from the streets that hasn't visited my brother at all, hasn't changed the beds, a bed set hasn't carried this man. And 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 if you listen, the best thing for people, I think what is a great disservice to the people, I'm gonna just say this. A great disservice to the person that you know as Pastor P is that you guys don't see this man. That's the greatest disservice to this day. The greatest disservice to this day. If you can see this man that everybody saw as a strong, uh, um, self-willed, healthy man, right? If you can see the person today that I see, then I think that would change your perception of a lot of things. People just don't understand the magnitude of this situation. And they're trying to create storylines. They're saying that there was never, I have never came out. Let me clear this up. I have never came out and said that I had a camera in the room of Keith's daughter. There was never a camera in her room. I have never said that. There was not a camera in her room. There is not a camera in her room. Okay? Let me just clear that up. For people to... I, listen, when she left, I called Ghost on... Before she left, I called Ghost on the phone and said, Man, these girls ain't really like... These girls ain't really like I, I heard about. They coming in on time. She's going to school every day. But this is from a week's observation. You know, I said one night, I was like, I was looking at my watch. I was like, damn, she she ain't going to make it. She made it. She came in. Hey, Uncle Leno. Right on time. Right? I was like, man, these girls doing before she left. Before she left. And when she left. I was not there. And let me say this. This going to blow your mind. Okay? But let me tell you this. This is where I'm at. Let me tell you this. My wife called me. And she said, I want to take her to the hospital. But I don't have no information on her. I called her mom. Her mom says, yeah, she always act like this during this, this and that. And, but she's complaining about her stomach. She's, she's uh, upset. She's crying and blah, blah, blah. 
I said, while I'm at work, I said, take her to the hospital. Take her to the hospital. Take her to the hospital. I don't have no information. Take her to the hospital. This was this was literally a day before she left. Okay, so we could clear all this shit up because they don't realize the impact of the things that they do on Bigo in real life, the impact that it has on real life. Not to mention that this is no respect. This is not doing no service for this man that's in this situation right now. These are his children that we are talking about. Okay. Listen. I got the text messages. I talked to her mom. Her mom told me, well, this is what she texts me. She always do this, blah, blah, blah. I laughed, laughing emoji. And I said, "Uh, yeah, I understand that. But we're going to send her to the hospital. We sent her to the hospital. My wife came back and she said, you did the right thing. I said, I know I did. Her mom said, don't take her to the hospital. I said, take her to the hospital. Now, if I'm touching on kids as it was insinuated, then why would I be the one against her mother saying, take her to the hospital? These motherfuckers get on here and twist every motherfucking thing that I say. From the very inception, this is why I did, I never got in that environment so they could never say to me, hey, you Bigo now. Because I don't play by Bigo rules. This is real life. This is a real man's life. This is a real man's children. This is my brother. And I take that very serious that someone would implicate Anything close to sexual battery or sexual assault, you motherfuckers is sick. This is a sick environment. It's a sick environment. The trauma that people endure being in that environment Every single day. I couldn't imagine. It's some people that's addicted to that shit. I'm not addicted to the bullshit. This is real life. This is a real man's life that's going on. And they trying to make content on it. And I don't have no respect. Any of us could be in this situation. Any of any, I don't care what nobody say. They could pay the picture of me. But these motherfuckers don't know shit about me. They don't know shit about me. And yet they're examining my life. These motherfuckers, uh, yeah, he bought a $5,000 vehicle. Where'd you get that information from? Where's the receipts on that? Why don't we get no receipts on shit? And and let me say this. Why motherfuckers is going and meticulously pulling out shit. Why y'all don't stamp, timestamp the shit that y'all said that I said? All this shit is recorded for quality assurance. There's no way you could get it wrong if the only way you fucking know me is through fucking videos. If I said something, the only way you heard it the only way that you heard it was you had to hear it from a video. I've never called anyone. I ain't never called nobody. From the very, you got a motherfucker that's going out here talking to people putting herself in, in the middle of family vi business that don't even know this man. Don't even know this man. 
You talking to his blood brother that he grew up with. I have baby pictures with this man. This man loved his brother. I don't care what he did when he got older. When we became men, is men move different. I don't, I there's a lot of people that I don't associate myself with just because of the shit that they do now. And my brother is not an exception to that. I changed my life. I walked away from the streets. I walked away from gambling and doing a lot of things. I don't want to incriminate myself, but there's a lot of things that I don't do for a motherfucker to come on here and say that they know my brother better. My mama don't know my brother better than me. Them facts. My mama don't know Keith better than me. And let me tell you something. She's been instrumental in keeping us separated from one another. I was just talking to somebody today and I said, I don't remember. I don't remember in the last 18 years, maybe 20 years, me, my mom and Keith sitting down and having dinner together in the last 20 years. This woman gets on here and act like she know us and she don't know shit about us. She think I didn't see Keith. I seen Keith. I seen his state. His beard is growing back. I seen when he kissed the balloon and sent it up in the air. I seen that. You don't think I did, but I did. That's God doing that. That's God doing that. These people, and I'm just going to say it. Tommy K, I seen your accident, and I don't wish no bad on you, but I'm going to tell you like this. You have been lying. You have personally been the in instrumental in going back and telling lies to my mother to it, to create problems so that you can have kin content. And let me tell you something. I don't care what these people say. At the end of the day, none of these people, you are the single most wicked person to try to come out here and deceive people into believing including my mother you have been telling lies to my mom you've been telling lies to my mom you get on here and just like you did to massacre you did the same thing to me you've been lying the whole time you have been creating content for yourself when everybody, there has been hosts and broadcasters that said, damn, why is she involved in this? Why is she involved in this to this degree? Just stay out of their business. I post this stuff and put stuff on Beagle Clerks. You know why I'm doing all this shit? And I got a whole bunch of shit that I could tell everybody. But if I did... If I did, like I said the other night, if I came out here and said everything that I wanted to say, it will fuck y'all up. It'll fuck y'all up. I'm just telling you that right now. It'll fuck y'all up. Because people ain't who you think they are. We don't think that people can be this fucking wicked. But they are. She has been lying and she has put out shit that is not true to my mom. And my mom is only involved because of the shit that she's trying to spin that I said. She came out here and told these people without any validation of proof, no receipts or nothing. She said that I used the proceeds from Save Key 419 to purchase a bed and a, uh, and a, uh, and a TV. 
let me tell you this. In the last, let me tell you this. And I can show receipts for this. I'm a UAW member. I get a bonus every year. My bonus was in this in excess of ten thousand dollars. My income taxes was in excess of ten thousand dollars. I have literally touched twenty two thousand dollars in the last three weeks. In the last three weeks, I touched twenty-two thousand dollars. I never purchased a vehicle for five thousand dollars. You got your figures wrong. You talking to the wrong person. Like I told y'all before, I got money. They keep on saying that I I'm this broke nigga. How can I be broke? I'm a UAW member. I've been on my job for 10 years. I'm at top pay. I don't miss a day at work. We working 50 hours plus. You know how much I make a week? Lots of money. You wouldn't believe it. I make lots of money a week. You don't have to believe it if you don't want to, but I said it. Some of these big old people really are sick, demented, and plain evil. They say the things they say because either it was done to them, they did it, or they themselves or someone close to them are actively doing it. That may be true. That may be true. But before God, for me to come out here and and say that somebody assaulted a young lady in my home, you know how many young ladies that came? My best friends are women. My best friends are women who all have girls who <laughs> will save one. I have a friend that's in Columbus that is a top attorney. She is my best, one of my best friends. I have another best friend, friend that is a registered nurse. And she has a daughter that has nothing but love. Like, like I'm just her uncle. I have nothing but respect for women. For people to insinuate that I would do anything to my, or I would be monitoring my children in a sexual manner. You got to be out your fucking mind. You are sick. You are absolutely sick. And look, I gave these people the opportunity to donate to my brother and then have a safe haven where there was accountability. What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? This is nonsense. And when it gets to the point to where it's, it's going a different way, matter of fact, shout out to Trina B. Trina B, I want you to know I have so much respect for you and what you have done. I do. Red 39, much respect. Miss Diverse, Claire Kane, everybody who has donated to Save Key 419. It was for a worthy cause. If I did not mention your name, I still love you and respect you. And if anything happened to you, I will be there for you. You got my unadulterated attention. If something happens to you, especially Trina B, I will be the first one there to support you. I don't care what, what you do or how you do it. or I know the heart of the people who have supported this cause. And they have did, done a wonderful job. And I'm very grateful to see these people come together. People that don't care about the Pastor P brand and say, hey, I'm going to support this because that's what it's all about. 
We not talking about Pastor P. We talking about Keith. We talking about a man that once stood tall, that was strong, and now he's not in that. He's he's. If you can see him today, I think the greatest travesty of today is that you guys don't see this man. If you guys seen this man, I think that it would tear your heart apart. It would tear you apart. I don't care how much you hated him. It would tear you apart to see this man today. Because I'm going to tell you, it tore me apart. It tore me apart when I seen him. That's real. That is real. These people have been lying to you. These people have been keeping up shit for no fucking reason. And they are destroying the opportunity for this man to have the support. And why would a sister, why would a brother come out here and stop somebody just because they are a, a, a so-called op? Let me tell you, let me blow your mind with this. This will be going over motherfuckers' heads. When, when Pastor P came to people's page that was an op, I guarantee you that you was going to get some kind of pay from that shit. Because whether he was an op, Keith, having Keith as an op was good. Because if he came to your motherfucking life, oh, that motherfucker was going to bubble. You'll be blessed to have him as an op. You'll be blessed to have him as a friend. Either way it fucking went, you'll be blessed because people was watching and not a lot of motherfuckers can draw people to people. They pay a lot of money to bring views to a motherfucking channel. And yet I didn't use that. I denied motherfuckers. Oh, yeah. On my Instagram, I was cutting motherfuckers down. I shut the motherfucker down. If I wanted to make money, I wouldn't have started Save Key 419. Guess where I would have been? On fucking Bigo. He's my brother. This ain't drinking, motherfucker. I'm not drunk, motherfucker. Who the fuck you think I am? I'm his brother. Don't be stupid. The pain that I feel is real, nigga. Just because you ain't got a goddamn family that don't nobody motherfucking know. Don't mean that you can tear up somebody else's fucking family. You a wicked ass motherfucker. And I said it and I meant it. And you have gone to everybody. Trina B, you have gone to uh uh what's her what's it? Ashley Shepard. You have gone to everybody and you found your golden goose and Pastor P. And lo and behold, Pastor P ain't here, and look at what you able to do. But it's only temporary. It's only temporary. What is it to gain the world and lose your soul? You putting this man's mama on your platform to come and talk about his brother that he's asking for. You a dumb, evil ass witch. And I don't give a fuck what happens at the end of the day. You might say I'm mad. No, I ain't doing. I Listen, God can get you better than I can get you. And if you ain't afraid of God to go and earn a dollar bill, you a wicked motherfucker. You wicked. We ain't got to talk about you. Because it's never been about you. And it never will be about you. This is about Keith. This man's life is on the line. He has real children, real situations going on. And you keep creating a divide. And you don't give a fuck just like you didn't give a fuck about your own goddamn daughter more than you gave a fuck about Bigo. 
So I don't give a shit what you can say about me. You don't know me and you ain't bold enough to come and talk to me. At least a nigga that got a problem with you would come and talk to you if you was real. But you ain't real. You want content. But the real motherfuckers know the difference between real and fake. And we out here fighting for this man's life while you playing motherfucking big old. You should have stayed out of it just like everybody else was saying. They wouldn't have shit to say to you. And when you come down, you go know that you did wrong. You did wrong to this man. You ain't have no right to doing the shit that you did. And you a wicked and evil motherfucker. Just like everybody been saying. Everybody been saying it. You come on here and build a narrative of some. You said that I pay. I got plenty money. Yeah, we talking about her. It ain't even a fight. Everybody that's saying shit about me don't know me. And they probably, they brothers probably wouldn't have never, never do the shit that, they, that I'm standing up against. For me to come out against a, 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 a app that I don't even know nothing about, they scrutinizing every single aspect of my life and none of my family members have came out. None of my other family members have come out to say anything. They don't. Because they may be afraid of the backlash that come with it. I ain't give a fuck. This my brother. I got some. This my brother. This my brother. And I know, I, I guarantee you, let me tell you something. You will never find a motherfucker like me. You're, it's hard pressed to find a motherfucker like me. Why me and Keith didn't get along? Because me and Keith didn't believe the same fucking thing. But that didn't mean that we didn't love one another. That did not mean that my brother didn't love me. He had much. He told a young lady. I don't want you to meet my brother. That's a real man. That's a real man. I don't want you to meet my brother. This is facts. I'm not going to tell you nothing that ain't true. That's what my brother said about me. He had his bike in my name. He didn't have it in Tommy K. He didn't have it in Miss Regina. He didn't have it in Shay. He had it in his brother's name. He loved his brother. And that's why his brother is standing in the gap for him. My band would have never kept my ATM card and kept all my money on my ATM card. And when I got out of jail, he gave me the ATM card. He, he cut down my mama when my mama took my motherfucking money off my card and was going on a motherfucking vacation while I was in jail. So if she want to fucking rebuttal something, Come out here and rebuttal the time when you took my motherfucking money when I was in Iraq. Come out here and rebuttal that. That's what we want to fucking hear. And let's rebuttal when I went to jail when I got my taxes, how you took money out of that. And you said that you was going to go out there and pay for my car to get fixed. And when I got out, I had to walk to the motherfucking shop and pay them my motherfucking self because you never paid them. You a liar, too. That's why y'all get along. My brother stood up for me, and that's why I'm standing up for him. And don't come out here making those storylines, because this ain't motherfucking Big O. This YouTube. This real life. I feel indebted to do an interview to the people who have supported this man, and I have every right to come out here and give my explanation and my side of the story 
story based on what I think is right. Because people have questions and I have answers. And I ain't afraid and you ain't going to see me fumble over my words and I'm you could go back in my videos and I'm going to say the same goddamn thing. That's why they think I'm boring. They think I'm boring because I always come out here and say the same goddamn thing. You ain't going to find a nigga this consistent. In fact, if you find a nigga this motherfucking consistent, that's the nigga you need to be with if you single. You ain't going to find nobody consistent like this. And I ain't, I don't even care what he, his enemies say this. He did, I went and did a collage of everybody. Everybody that he argue with. And I put it in my phone because I was going to make a, like a collage. Guess who was on there? Me. He cut down me. And I'm still here, baby. Fighting for this man. Put my family on the line. These motherfuckers talking about my family. These motherfuckers talking about my kids. These motherfuckers talking about shit that they don't know shit about. I ain't never came and gave no detail to nothing. These motherfuckers, he putting all his business out. No, motherfucker. No, you just in my business. If you weren't in my business, if I wasn't a topic of your discussion, then you wouldn't be in my business. If two people is talking, it ain't my business. Guess what I ain't doing? I ain't paying attention. They ain't my business. But if you make it my, your motherfucking business to get involved in it and two people over there talking, this ain't your motherfucking business. Why are you over here? What you over here for? We over here talking, nigga. This ain't your motherfucking business. But if you want to make it your motherfucking business, do you know what's going on here? No, you don't. So I don't give a fuck about what you think about me, nigga. If you don't know me, how can you come out here and say shit about me? If you don't know shit about me, how you gonna come out here and live vicariously through somebody who do know a little bit about me? That's right. Voting Biden, voting Trump. I'm a Jew. I don't vote for none of them motherfuckers. I don't vote for Trump or Biden. I'm not even in. I don't. If it ain't Jesus on the ballot, I ain't vote for the motherfuckers. All of them slave masters. Which one? Which slave master you want to pick? Go ahead and pick which one you want to pick. If you knew politics, you wouldn't vote for neither one of the motherfuckers. You would start doing something in your community to help your people out. That's what that's a lost art. We depend on these motherfucking slave masters to give us something when we ain't doing nothing for ourselves. Cotton picking ass niggas talking about Trump and talking about Biden. These motherfuckers don't give a shit about you. If you don't get out there and this America motherfucker, there's people coming over as immigrants coming over here and making a life for themselves. They don't need them, them motherfucking benefits. All voting and policies is for is benefits. You don't need no benefits if you could take care of your motherfucking self. Start owning some nigga. Go to Alabama. Look at all these black women that's making all this money, money being entrepreneurs. You get up and do something for yourself. This is a land of opportunity. You motherfuckers just want to be slave minded and not free thinkers. Get out here. You can make a you can make a life for yourself. You could do anything you motherfucking want if you want. If, Get you an LLC, get you an EIN, and start getting some motherfucking loans and doing, you can do anything out here. I had two motherfucking businesses. My wife got one. Shit, nigga, you can, you can have as much as you want by getting out here and doing what you need to do. But if you sit around here waiting for a motherfucker to do something for you, them the motherfuckers that's sitting around here talking about Trump and Biden, I ain't sitting around... Ain't no rich motherfuckers sitting around here talking about no motherfucking Biden and, and, and Trump. Because them motherfuckers ain't going to make no difference on shit. And all their policies won't be implemented then until motherfucking five years after they motherfucking term anyway. Them motherfuckers don't know shit. They all racist to me. Ain't none of them presidents did shit that you can't do for your motherfucking self. I was in the military, so I know how this shit go. 
with that being said, don't believe these lying ass motherfuckers that don't know shit about shit. They're just making up shit. Got time to sit around a motherfucking computer and an iPhone or a cell phone and talk dumb ass shit just to make content. I ain't got to come out here and clear a motherfucking thing out. But you ain't going to sit up here and call me a fucking pedophile, you sick ass nigga. If that's what you did. I tried to help the young lady. Don't you think when I talked to his to her mom, the first thing she said, I know y'all good people. This is what her mom said. I know y'all good people. So if y'all couldn't help her, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I did more than these motherfucking cockpit picking ass niggas and sitting up here talking about you ain't bringing them in your house, but you his sister. How you his sister? You doing all this shit. Where are you at? You ain't came to Ohio ever since this, the, the when you got on the boat to advertise your motherfucking allegiance to him and stay in a fucking hotel with somebody that they accuse you of fucking and sucking on. Nigga, you can't tell me nothing. We here. This is a family member, bitch. Fuck you talking about. I, and I'm sorry for talking like this, but it's just the truth. I'm getting sick of these motherfuckers coming out here and saying this ridiculous ass shit that just can, can just create more conflict. And they can come back and rebuttal this motherfucking video. But you notice when she was doing her motherfucking live, she turned my live off when I was cutting into her motherfucking ass because I knew she was. I knew she was going to watch me with a bonnet on. Luckily, I, I said the same fucking thing when I was talking about the bonnet, take the bonnet off. I didn't even see her be, until after I got off live and I seen her. She had a fucking bonnet on. Stay out of our motherfucking business. This Toledo. You causing conflicts in Toledo. You don't know how these niggas is out here. We know how this shit run. We know the politics in Toledo. Stay out of Toledo motherfucking business. Stay in Illinois. Stay in Chicago. Mind your motherfucking business in Chicago. Don't come to Toledo. We ain't on that shit. Anybody that want an issue here, you know how you could get it. We meet at the same motherfucking places. This is downtown where I'm at. I'm downtown. I ain't hard to find in Toledo. It's not hard to find nobody in Toledo. I I grew up on the south side. I grew up on the north side. I grew up on the east side. I grew, I went to church on the east side, on the south. Everywhere I've been around this city, this is a small city. We go to the same fucking places, Jefferson Express. We go to the mall. We got one basically. No, there's not a North Town Mall anymore. We go to the same mall. We go run into everybody out here. Everybody know the politics in Toledo. We not stupid out here. Don't be dumb. You creating shit and you don't even know what the fuck you talking about. Keep your mouth shut. I don't even speak about nobody who say my name in Toledo because I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say to you and ask ghosts. I'm going to tell you, when it come to me, motherfuckers ride for me. I'm just letting you know. I, I, this ain't no boasting or nothing. Point blank, period. I ain't got to get out here and start talking no shit to nobody. I never come out here and talk no shit to nobody. Not in this town. I don't know, I don't know what nobody will do. So let it be known. I ain't out here trying to showcase nothing. Y'all make sure if y'all want the real answer to what's going on, y'all come out here tomorrow. I got the breakdown queen coming out here to settle things and she go ask me questions and we go get this shit over with. Period. Because I'm tired of talking about the same fucking thing. I'm not a pedophile. I don't look at kids on cameras. I did not bring my niece in the house to be looking and observing her on camera. I'm spoiled, spoiled. Anybody who know me, I, you will know I'm spoiled. I'm, I was known as the golden child in our family. Everybody loves me and my family. 
I'm sport. I was a college athlete, high school champion, college champion. Go, I, I'm spoiled. I don't need a lot of women. I don't need a lot of shit. I'm trying to raise my kids and take care of my brother. Stay out of my motherfucking business. Fat motherfucking ass ain't got nothing else to do but sit around here and run your motherfucking mouth. Fix your goddamn car. Get your shit fixed. Then I tell you, I said it last night. While you running your motherfucking mouth and then look what happened to you. That's the kind of shit that happened to people that run their motherfucking mouth. You do right by people, you ain't got to worry about your shit getting fucked up. Now don't look at you. And just like everything else, if you post that shit, you gonna, it's going to be some shit that's going to happen to you that you that's going to be posted. Keep on going on with that shit. If you if you lost me, who? Yeah, well, if you lost, find yourself. Because I ain't trying to find you, nigga. Whoever that's lost, if you can't find yourself, you won't be found, nigga. You ain't got to worry about being lost, nigga. I don't know you to find you. Put out an amber alert. Yeah, There's a lot of people that's lost. Hey, I can't help every motherfucking body. That's one thing I cannot do. Find your motherfucking self. I sure did have to find myself. Some of you motherfuckers, y'all looking for me. I'm not looking for y'all. I told you, I did not come out here for nobody. I don't know what y'all talk, y'all thought. But I did not come out for nobody. When I put out the update, it wasn't to all these other people. They took that shit and ran off with it. They ain't got nothing to do with me if you lost. If you lost, find your motherfucking self. Because I'm not going to try to find you for you. Find your motherfucking self. Find you a motherfucking life and stay the fuck out of mind. If you lost, stay lost. Find, where's Waldo? I don't know. I'm not looking for him. Find your goddamn self. That's right. So I'm going to enjoy the rest of my motherfucking night, but you ain't going to destroy my plight. I'm coming out here and telling you that I had nothing but honorable intentions when I came out here to service, and I'm still doing the same thing. And it's yet to be revealed a lot of things. Why this woman is sitting up here talking about, yeah, I got POA. Ain't nobody could do shit to me. Well, that's a prideful position to be in. You, it's easy for you to be toppled. We'll check your work. We're going to check your paperwork out. And don't worry about it. I'm putting my own money towards this. I'm going to take you down. I'm looking to take you down about my brother. I seen my brother. I know he vulnerable. He want to see Shay. He want to see his kids. He want to see his brothers. That's why you came over here, coming over to the wrong house looking for me. You wrong every way. You went to the wrong house. You got to go to two houses now. Two houses you got to go to to figure out where I stay. You don't know which one I'm going to be at at any time. These motherfuckers think that I got one house. No, that's where you lost. That's where you lost. Y'all don't know what the fuck y'all talking about. He bought a car for $5,000. Where'd you get that information from? Where'd you get that information from? And if I did buy a car, trust me, it wasn't for $5,000. And them facts. I and you know I got receipts. You ain't you ain't got to worry about me having no receipts. Now with you, we got to be concerned about your receipts because you haven't produced one in the last. It's almost been a year, and we ain't got no motherfucking receipts from Pastor P eighty one. But you deflect, deflect, fluff, fluff all the time. Just like I said, I read you like a book. You fluff, fluff, no receipts, no accountability. Sounds like a con artist to me. But I digress. Enjoy your evening.